Hey Virgo, welcome back to Karma Light Readings. I am Karma. If you're new here, please make sure you subscribe. Uh, if at any time you do resonate with this reading, go ahead and hit the like button so that we can have that exchange of energy. This is a timeless reading. However, I am filming it in March 2023. I know some of you guys do like to know that. Uh, any questions you have about me, if you want to book a personal reading, Virgo, uh, all of that information, goodies, oracle cards, all that fun stuff, that is on my website. Link is in the description box below. So let's go ahead and jump right into it with my blessing and prayer and see what messages the Holy Spirit has for you. <clears throat> Mother, Father, God, Divine Holy Spirit of the Most High, Lord Jesus, thank you for allowing me to be a clear channel of receiving messages for Virgo in regards to their current life situation, soul journey, and soul path. I ask that these messages provide clarity, guidance, healing, and understanding, as well as a higher knowledge and perception into what karmic cycles, soul lessons, and generational curses Virgo may currently be going through, about to go through, need to become aware of, learn from, heal from, and release. Lord, in all that you are and all that you do, and all that I am, and all that I do, I live by your word and your word only. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. Okay, so what I'm seeing is a couple things. Either there's somebody here, first I just have to say that there's somebody here who like, I don't know if you are either, somebody could be like some sort of watch guard or maybe your security guard or a police officer, but I see like a commander or somebody who's just, you know, makes authoritative decisions, but they're kind of showing it to me as military. So that may just be a message for someone from someone who's passed on. But what else they're showing me is there's something that you do that you delegate or but you're keeping it a secret. There's something that you're preparing for and planning for, Virgo, but it's not you're not you're not saying anything out loud yet about it. Okay, you have aquamarine, divine life purpose, trust the signs and your inner guidance which are leading you to fulfillment. And then you have rose quartz, love life, new or renewed romantic love is here for you. And then on the bottom, you have jade, wellness, the recovery of health and wellness is here. So maybe that's why you're being silent. You could be just working on number one, healing yourself. So I could just be seeing silence as a, uh, a sign of meditation and prayer and, and going within because you're aligning with your divine life purpose. But that is also probably another reason why you're being silent. Typically when we are working on something that's very important and special to us and is pertained to our soul purpose and our life purpose, we're not as vocalized about it as we once were, right? Because we understand that there's other entities listening. And you may have had some issues in the past with other people trying to steal your ideas. Clarify, please. Change your focus, blocking your manifestations. This person or situation is very unstable. So this could be what Spirit is talking about and why um, I was seeing somebody keep something to themselves, okay? So change your focus, blocking your manifestations. Um, if you're focusing too much on something going wrong or on the fact that there is someone around you who might get in the way of your plans, it will create more blockages and what that person would have already naturally created, right? Which is why it's so important that we learn how to just observe, but the more we think about something, the more we build it and create it, okay? Clarify, please, for Virgo. 
You are a healer. Stop doubting your gifts. There we are. Jade, wellness. The recovery of health and wellness is here. So you are you are a healer. You have the ability to break free from, from karmic chains, from life cycles. You have the ability to help other people. You have black magic is being done. It will be rejected. And this is going on top of this person or situation is unstable. Your divine life purpose and change your focus. There's somebody here either that you might work with or something that is, I think you work with this person, Virgo. That's what I think. It doesn't have to be, I could, you know, this is a large collective, but whoever it is, they don't have positive uh, intentions for you or they don't want you to succeed. Yeah, do not trust them and then money fraud. So I feel like somebody's gonna try to get away with something here or they might try to tell you, you know, I would just be careful. I would just be careful. Make sure that everything is signed, sealed, delivered, dotted. You have child support or custody issues, illusions, all smoke and mirrors. Okay, so this is going to come up as, for some of you, yes, child support and custody issues. Uh, that's where there's some type of um, black magic, which can be a soul contract, karma, you know, an actual spell placed on it. Um, but somebody's trying to place illusions, which is where the fraud card was coming in. For others of you that this isn't child support, what this is pertaining to is either some type of property. So if you're creating something at work or if you're trying to lease a, a place at work, I would just be careful. There just seems to be a lot of illusions and smoke and mirrors surrounding a particular situation. Um, and I think for a lot of you, it has to do with work. All right. Let's see what messages we can get. On the bottom, you have this is a karmic relationship. So there's going to be some, some, some red flags, some red tape, some difficult lessons or experiences and hurdles to leap over. Why? Well, because the first card out is that you're aligned with your divine purpose. So you have to expect then for a tax to come in. Okay? It's a bummer, but it is what it is. All right, we have the Page of Wands. You're showing up as the Two of Pentacles. We have the Ten of Wands on the outside. Your challenge is the Two of Wands, okay? So decisions are a theme here. Um, and King of Swords, a decision maker. You have the seven of wands on the bottom. You might have to, ooh, we. Seven of wands, four of swords, the devil, nine of pentacles, page of pentacles, knight of pentacles, five of swords, king of pentacles. Okay, if somebody gives you a, was this in your last reading? Because it's coming up again. Um, if somebody gives you an offer that sounds too good to be true, don't take it because it's going to be laced with something to set you up. You're in this picture. All I can see when I see the seven of wands and then I think of Virgo being, you know, purity, the virgin. And in the seven of wands, I have the heart and then these wands that are all pointing at it. It's like you are untouchable. I'm not going to say that you're holy, right? Because we're, we're, we're not, but in this situation, Virgo, you have done nothing wrong. In this situation, you you are pure in terms of you're doing something. If this is work-related, I feel like I'm tapping into somebody who's doing something for the good of others, right? Or you just there's nothing fraudulent about what you are doing, Virgo. But you have the Four of Swords, the Devil, which I like because to me it's like, no, I'm not doing anything that has strings attached. If anything is going to come to you with some sort of strings attached, I feel like you turn away from it and you'd rather go off in another direction no matter how long it takes you to get there. You're not going to, to, to be doing something under someone else because that's what I'm seeing here where, where you, you may have to fight for something and stand your ground. You're going to get it. You're going to end up getting what you're looking for. I just feel like 
it's going it's going to be a battle why i really think someone here because it is your divine purpose i'm just going to keep going back to that but if it is your divine purpose which is what spirit is saying that means that you are doing something for others for the good of others that's what a divine purpose is it's how we serve back um so you're, you you got to expect then that attacks are going to come out of nowhere. I'm just going to, you know, advise you to keep everything as clean as you can. I think that you are doing that. I'm not saying that you're not, but I just see people wanting to rally up against you, but you're, it's because you're soaring so high above them. Okay. All right. You have the page of wands. There is a lot of excitement here about a new message or offer that's recently come your way. Again, I do feel like we're talking about work. It's an exciting new um, offer, something to create, something that you can begin to create, but it's in the beginning phases. Yeah. Two of cups. It's some type of partnership here. There you are. The queen of pentacles from seeds that you've planted and seeds that you've wanted to nourish and develop. Okay. Um, you have death card after that. Strength, the two of wands, and the commander. Okay, so because this is a collective, there is still work. So this could be a partnership within work. However, I want to leap over because I have two of cups, the king and queen of pentacles, and past lives. There is still some type of karma that you're trying to clear out. Uh, if I want to talk about love with somebody that 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 may have made some mistakes because this is a page of wands. So they may not have been entirely committed and now there's it's it's becoming a challenge to it's becoming a challenge to make the decision to be strong and work through the difficulties that you've been through with this person. I think it's more about forgiveness, okay? It's like ending one cycle and moving into another, but it's also it's also in the beginning stages, okay? You're showing up as a two of pentacles. This lets me know that you're needing to make a decision or possibly, um, I don't like to use this word sacrifice, but, and I just said this in another reading, but in this instance, because I'm seeing blood on the table, I feel like it is. I think that you have to make a sacrifice here. Um, meaning you're going to have to give up something that you really didn't want to give up. And that's why this is difficult for you. So, and, and this could be love, life, work related. And it might mean that you're going to have to give up some time doing something in one area, right? so that you can focus on another but you you have a lot of um responsibilities that you have to delegate through and it's proving to 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 be challenging yeah you have sagittarius energy with the maze you have the orbs again which is strength sometimes you don't know which way to go yeah and then judgment wow this is big the composer page of cups three of wands six of And then look, sacrifice, literally sacrifice on the bottom. Um, you have a decision to make and I, you're going to have to, Virgo, I feel like you're going to have to release a certain part of yourself, um, you know, through the judgment process here. And take a leap of faith in a new direction. I think that you're trying to gather your strength and your courage to make the right decision because both, both paths seem to be unknown. Either decision, either choice that you make, Virgo, you really don't have a clear view. I mean, you have an idea, but you don't have a clear view of how it's going to end up. So this is really you just kind of taking a, a leap of faith on your intuition. You are not crazy. You are just awakening. That's why you're struggling. You have to go in the decision that's for your highest good because you are 
it's almost like you're being pulled to the top. You're being pulled to the top and it's not easy. There it is, the generational curse. That's why the devil is showing up because the devil doesn't want you to get break out of what you're breaking out of. Abandonment wounds need to be addressed and heart chakra flew and landed upside down on top of this is a karmic relationship. Somebody, woo, see how many different energies there are here. There's like work going on, then there's love. There's somebody here who this karmic relationship, they need that their heart chakra came in reverse. That like, that pains me. This person's in a lot of darkness. They're in a lot of darkness. Clarify. Page of Wands, Two of Cups, Queen of Pentacles, and Death, please. Repeating cycles and patterns. So see, that was somebody where it's like they weren't very serious. Um, maybe they, they weren't as committed as they should have been. Yeah, they're heartbroken now because you may have had to put something to an end here. All right, outside energy is the Ten of Wands. Oh, how funny. That phone that is ringing um, is my mother's phone and she just passed away on Valentine's Day, but she's a Virgo. So how funny. <laughs> um, all right, so we have the uh, Ten of Wands here for the outside energy. I do feel like there's a situation that's uh, over time has acquired a lot of a lot of interesting experiences that could be interpreted as burdens. And I feel like you're trying to take what you've been through and turn it into something very powerful, right? You're taking your pain and you're turning it into passion. But this outside energy, it's interesting because I feel like this outside energy is the big monster and they're just watching you clean up their mess. You see how it's just above the wands and you just keep taking action and you know, you just keep taking action and, and fixing it, but it's, it, it can't just always be you, Virgo. Yeah, the tower, the 10 of wands, the tower, like, hmm. The 10 of swords and the nine of swords, yeah. You are the, whoever this energy that I'm connecting with, you're in the process of awakening and I feel like this other person is not there yet. And so they keep creating these cycles here where they're the monster and you've got to clean it up. And then here we have the, the tower, the 10 of swords and the nine of swords. How many times do you want to fight down their own darkness for them? How exhausting is that? And I think that's what's happening. It's like, I. The tower is something comes to shore, something comes to surface and you're like, I gotta, this has got to stop. I can't do this anymore. Somebody's almost too scared to face their own demons. That's why they're just letting you do it. Addictions and codependent behavior. This person just isn't going to betray her. You have somebody who wants to betray you and that they're guilty. So just watch your back Virgo because I don't know who this is but it's like this person just doesn't they might talk a good talk but they're not really serious about addressing what needs to be addressed your challenge is a two of wands it's so hard to make a decision I think every time you try to make a decision somebody starts like barking orders or they get upset they start screaming they don't understand that's the wrong decision we're not doing that it's almost like your path is trying to be blocked. When you are on, when you are on the path to your divine purpose and you're living in your purpose um, and the darkness wants to attack you, they will use those closest to you that do not have the protection of the divine because they're not healing themselves. They don't repent. They don't pray to God. They don't shield themselves with the light. Okay, and that's what I'm seeing. It's like you're wondering, well, why, why if I'm on this path, is everything trying to get me? They don't want you to succeed. Clarify, please, this two of wands. The five of cups, the sun, the king of pentacles, the nine of cups, and the swan. Ten of cups, 
but the challenge is you're not there are the challenge is this are you really happy in the situation because it looks like with the knight of pentacles in reverse and the ten of cups the ace of pentacles the four of wands as the challenge it to me it's like there's so there was a lot of sadness a lot of regret a lot of remorse and somebody wasn't able to invest because their pride was getting in the way and it's caused a lot of conflict a lot of um sunken ships in this one connection and i think making a decision on what to do is is almost proving to be overwhelmingly confusing look at the different faces because there's so many different ways that this can go there's so many different ways that this can go. But Spirit is saying, but you, you, you can't focus on that. The struggle is knowing that you are healed and that you can make the right decision for yourself. You're breaking a generational curse. That's why this is hard. You're breaking a generational curse. Clarify, please. The King of Swords is the outcome. Divine wisdom and intelligence is going to be bestowed. And all of a sudden, it's like all the confusion, Virgo, all of this illusions, all smoke and mirrors goes right out of the way. Clarify, please, the King of Swords as the outcome for Virgo. Clarify, please, the King of Swords. The Empress. The King of Swords again. And the Six of Swords, you have the Seven of Pentacles, the Hermit, which is you, and the Ten of Pentacles. So there is something that is growing that is being given to you. You have the Empress, it is a new beginning, okay? You have the King of Swords twice. So I feel like, again, if I want to go back to your work or what you were doing, there is some type of communication and offer on the table that's going to be making its way towards you. However, with two King of Swords, seven, eight, I would be careful. Really, okay, thank you, Spirit. But really listen to what someone is saying to you to make sure that you're hearing it clearly. Because there could be temptation, somebody could be trying to set you up. But what else I was just shown, again, remember I said you're gonna have to put your foot down and really fight for something. There, you're going to be able you for a lot of you who've been doing this work, Virgo, you're in the Empress status, which means a lot of other energy around you is beneath you, for lack of a better word, but just meaning you're going to be able to see right through it. So when that energy hits you and you feel it, seek divine counsel to get you out of this because you're in the process of breaking generational curses and patterns. So you have to expect for them to show up so that you can show the divine that you know how to make a different decision and move out of that energy. Yeah, you need to detox and declutter your energy and space. Regret and remorse, deep sadness. I told you somebody's gonna be really upset because they're not gonna be able to get to you. Let things fall, God is realigning you. Issues with immediate family. I feel like this has to do with family and then you have something really big going on work-wise, Virgo. All right, I'm sending you much love, Virgo. I look forward to hearing from you as always, and I hope you guys are well. Bye.